All right, here we are again. Um, I'm doing the Tesla's one-wire transmission principle, which later led to his world wireless system. Um, he did this like 100 years ago, probably more than 100 years ago now. But um, in this uh, example, I built two mini uh, Tesla coil type things. It, you know, about about the same resonance, I guess, the same like windings and everything. And uh, in this, I have it excited by the transformer high voltage transformer. This little weird looking thing here is actually the capacitor. It makes like a capacitive effect that excites the circuit because I don't have the right capacitors and uh, I'll be getting some in a week. So that's helped excite the circuit and then the energy is transferred. Uh, it goes through the primary and goes into the secondary which is then sent out this thin, the thin wire right here. And that's the secondary wire. If you look, it runs all the way over and it connects to the other secondary of the other coil and then it runs over and so it goes to the secondary there excites the primary the capacitor top again and so it's just like a mirror image of the uh, the, the transmitter circuit and so in this I've gotten some really weird results and I'd like to show you guys some more weird stuff with this thing but um, I just wanted to show you that um, all right, so I've turned the um, the transformer on and stuff, so the energy's going through the wire. If you listen, it's quiet. <laughs> but um, if you look closely, the, the light's lighting up. And now I wanted to show you one of the things that Tesla talked about. When you have um, the receiving energy, it loves capacitance. And here we go. we got a big piece of metal to make a capacitive effect. And watch how much the energy in the, the bulbs change. Oh, shit, yeah. So see that? I mean, it's showing that the more larger the capacitive area the more the energy wants to just like go through I guess the bulbs I don't really understand the whole principle but I mean it shows that with a capacitive end I mean it's not grounded or anything it's just sitting there and you'll see that it makes a difference in the amount of energy going through the wire and so that's that one and if you look down here I have it that was like in the middle of the wire and then if you look down here you see I got this one too and you see that it's bright because I added the capac- oops because I added a capacitive end to it, so watch, if I take this off, you know how much weaker it is. But the more capacitive the end is, or like a larger surface area, the more the energy wants to flow through the bulbs. And it, that, I mean, that's something that's really strange looking to look at, but that, that's what it does. Um, and if, you, you know, it's just that coil, so it's the receiving one. So when I take it off, and if you look at the bulbs, like... I mean, it's, this these like uh, voltage bulbs that tell you how much voltage. Sometimes they like skip and like it just gets all messed up sometimes. And um, I still think there's high voltage going through, even though it's uh, primary. So that's probably why I can't really excite like um, higher wattage bulbs. But I'll eventually be able to. Um, so yeah, that's the one wire transmission. And um, I'll show you the next thing, and I'll I'll show you this thing, and we'll mimic the planet Earth for a second alright so that'll be the next one alright so I got the coil back on again and if you look there's a wire going to this piece of metal and then that other wire coming off but this is gonna kinda show you know like the earth model like say it's the earth you can put multiple wires into the same uh, same wire and that, that's one of the Tesla's things so the one wire transmission you can look see Oops. See if I just hook it up onto it. See, it's like sticking the grounding rod into the ground. Say, I mean, it's not, of course, not the same thing, but you can see. And uh, you can also multiply the effect with it when you put this on it. See, more energy flows because of the capacitance effect. Something that Tesla like, discovered back then. And uh, let me see the other one. Now, if you look on this one, you can have this one running too at the same time. So this is like as if you have more receiving circuits on the earth. So oops. So if you look, yeah, you can see the po the power. And um oops. and you can mag you know, you can magnify that one if you wanted to, you know, stick the capacitive in. But it just shows that you can have two points on the earth having energy being pulled back out. And in this case it would be running light bulbs. So that's an important thing to understand, like it's what is it's usually like energy flows through the least resistance and this thing's just putting energy out of like the whole entire thing. <laughs> so this thing could go over here. 
You see it's lighting up. And if you add the capacitor terminal, you know, it'll make it more powerful. And it's just interesting. And at the same time as this is happening, this is the energy flowing through this wire to the coil. Because I can still hook up this down here to the thing and it'll show energy still. And let me show you. See? And you know, if I add the capacitive end, again, it'll make it brighter. And if I just throw that together. And what's also interesting is I can use myself as a capacitive thing. And this is kind of a little dangerous, but you know, whatever. So if you... I don't have that connected. I can use myself as a capacitor. See how it gets brighter? See, I'm, I'm using myself as a capacitive element. And it tested this with like really high energy and stuff and didn't get killed or anything. And I, But when I do that stuff, I'm not going to try that. I mean, he really knew what he was doing. But you can see I'm using every time I touch the finger, I'm becoming a capacitive piece of the circuit. And I'm adding more energy to it or pulling more energy through. And that's coming off of that. So this whole entire thing's still on. And, you know. You see that it's going just one wire to it, and I'll show you why the difference between one wire transmission and uh, two regular two wire AC transmission. So that'll be the next few minutes. All right, I want to show you the difference between Tesla's one wire transmission and the regular AC power transmission. So you know, I just used one of those um, voltage readers, and I look, I hooked it up to the regular house two wires, see two wires going into it and you see that it goes to 120 volts Oops. and watch once you, yeah, once you take it out it doesn't show any more voltage so when it's in, see 120 alright when it tries to do one wire doesn't happen because that's how different his system is and so when you come down here again, I'll just show you again see that's one wire so I'll take that out of there you see the energy is going through one wire to that you can put the capacitive in and it excites it more or makes a capacitive effect in the circuit and so you know you can see the difference already between his one wire transmission and the regular AC power that you get to your house alright I just want to show you the uh, the waveform or at least you know some type of movement of energy through the wire so I hooked up that up to the oscilloscope and this is the type of wave it gives me. I mean, I don't know if that's the true wave, but um, it's just pretty neat looking. You know, going to the high voltage, so that's at, like the five volt thing. So you can see that this wave shows up like what, like 25 volts or something. And if you look down, you can see this cool looking wave that form. Looks like like um, I don't know, it just looks 3D looking. <laughs> you see like the wave trails away from itself. And uh, what else is there? Yeah, if you keep going down, that's what it looks like when it's like like part of a second, and then going, fat, you know, taking quicker portions of the wave. You can see what it looks like, and that, that looks pretty cool. You see it like combined to all that. So I just wanted to show you the waveform, because I mean that's something important about the system. T Tesla um, also talked about. I mean, I I'm, I'm not close to it, but there's resonance in the circuit, like energy will bounce off of the wire, like it'll go through the wire and bounce off the end. And that's how you can set up stationary waves. So that's something else I have to test, but when I have the money <laughs> to do that, I'll I'll try that. Um might have to build like a um high voltage alternator or something. But yeah, there you go. That's his like wave. If you look close. So that, that, that's what it looks like. I mean, I don't know if that's the true wave that he had, but that's what's happening here. That's what's sending energy through the wire. Um, so yeah, that, that's basically it for now. I just wanted to show you the different things about his system. And show that, yeah, the more I do this, you know, I wish I had some more money. But the more I do this, um, it shows the system is real. And so this was 100 years ago. This isn't the future. The future was 100 years ago. <laughs> so, um... Alright, uh, turn it off, and you see there's no spark, um, purple haze going on because um, I I made the wire so long that then it just has to flow the whole entire thing, so it's like a capacitor type thing, 
and um, but this time there's no plasma or anything so alright I'll put another video up in a few days but thanks for watching guys thanks for supporting my videos because it's nice looking on the front page of the science thing and seeing that I'm in the top you know like front pages of it which is pretty cool so thank you guys for helping me out alright bye